There you are. Yay. Power bill. <laughs> so we wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how we save money on our utilities. Mm -hmm. What's that word again? Power bill. Utilities. Mm. She called appliances utilities. Aren't early. they utilities? Probably. Probably. Well, stop making fun of me. Yeah. He's like, they're called appliances. Okay. So. Yeah. We've we've implemented different things. What's been our lowest lowest power bill ever? Uh, well, I don't know. Sixty bucks or something. Probably. Seventy bucks. This past month's power bill was ninety dollars. Yeah. And that's been our lowest in a while. Yeah. Um, We're in the, in the middle of May and it's 90 degrees. But this was for April. That's for yeah. So, yeah, 90 bucks. And we live in North Carolina. Yeah. So, um, I mean, we can have 70 degree days in January mm -hmm. and also 17. Like, <laughs> like yeah. we just never know what the weather's going to be like here. Yeah. But I would say for the majority of the year, it is really warm usually. Mm -hmm. So, um, running our air conditioning is definitely what... That's the highest cost. Really. Yeah, that's the highest cost. Yeah. So, yeah. we're just going to tell you a few of the things that we do in our house to save on our power bill. Yeah. We'll just start with that, the air conditioning. Okay. So. Typically, the air conditioner is on from about now, mid-May, sometimes earlier, sometimes later, through, I would say, mid-September-ish. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit into October. Yeah. But the highest, the highest cost months are July and August, for sure, mm -hmm. uh, because of the air conditioner. The rest of the year, our power bill is really low. Um, so typically this time of the year we try to wait as long as we can. He is able to wait a lot longer than yeah. I am. I actually asked him to turn the air on last night because I don't like sleeping when it's just hot and sticky. So yeah. I but can't you like sleep. like a heavy blanket and I keep telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you got me that heavy blanket. Oh, no, for the winter time. No, it's for all the time. It's a weighted blanket. It's like oh. the most heavenly thing because yeah. it just like comforts you and like, you know, helps you to, to sleep. So I don't want to give it up. Yeah. So anyway, we, we go as long as we can without starting up the air conditioner. Um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we do have an attic fan, like a whole house attic fan. So that, that helps quite a bit. We are able to turn that on in the mornings when it's in the 60s and mm -hmm. cool down the house. Um, and we have shade trees that my dad planted around the house, which is really cool. They were like, you know, three foot tall when he planted them and now they're, I don't even know, way up there. <laughs> but, um, so that's, we're really fortunate to have those really nice shade trees that we have. It keeps the sun off the house until after lunch, until like one o'clock or something. So. Yeah, and it's really nice if we do run the attic fan, if it's a cooler morning, um, you know, 60 degree, 55 or something morning, and we can run the attic fan first thing for, I don't know how long we run it, an hour or two sometimes, yeah. and um, it just cools the house off, and then we turn it off, and um, with the shade trees, it really just kind of retains yeah. the cool air in the house for the day, mm -hmm. um, and and then we don't need to run the air conditioning because then it gets cool again at night or yeah. cooler. So yeah, we um, were running that fan all night. Yeah. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, probably. And that's probably why I can't talk right now. Yeah. Like because of allergies yeah. and stuff, <laughs> but yeah, it usually bothers me every year. Yeah. But it didn't really this year. Too bad. I don't think. I know you. You've been, you've been coughing a lot and you sneeze a lot. Yeah. That's from bush hogging though. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Your eyes weren't as bad this time. Mm-hmm. I yeah, mean, it's they... been a better year for allergies. Yeah. Though. For some reason. What's Anyways, next? That's off the subject. So um, that covers the air conditioning and cooling the house. That's our, our biggest expense. So that's how we keep that low. And one, something that goes into that too is the sun oven though. Yes. So we don't have yeah, that. That's right. Yeah. 
So we use a an all American sun oven during the summertime, which is pretty nice. You, uh, we do we raise our own chicken, and you know we have a freezer full all the time. And so you can take a frozen chicken in a pot and put it out into the sun oven and let it cook all day outside, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. We've cooked bread, we've cooked cornbread, we've fixed. Have we fixed dessert? Yeah, we've had dessert. Yeah, some, yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. It gets up to about 325 in the oven. That's about the highest I've seen it. But you can just face it south and like set it and forget it, or you can turn it every once in a while to, you know, line up with the sun. Depends on how how prepared we are. <laughs> Usually not very. We're not prepared. <laughs> then we we have to move it around to make sure it gets the most heat. Yeah. But, I mean, it'll it'll cook our meal and it's ready in the evening. Mhm. Mm yeah. So, so then it, you know, we yeah. don't have the oven on in the house right. all day, right. heating up the house. Mhm. Mm um. So speaking of our oven, so in we, our yeah, cooktop. we don't. So we don't use power from the oven when right. we use the sun oven, and we don't, you know, have heat in the house from the oven. So, um, our oven is uh, it has an induction cooktop, which saves energy because it heats the pan only it doesn't there's no wasted heat from around the cooktop so I don't know how much energy it saves but I know it saves some and it is so so quick to cook anything yeah, yeah. like that's another savings yeah you're not like you know sitting there for 10 minutes waiting on water to boil it mm. boils water in 30 seconds so yeah. you know that's nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as far as time goes too but for the energy yeah um I don't know about LED bulbs. They do. <laughs> the ugly ones. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> we use um, the not so pretty light bulbs in the house. The LED bulbs that are like little spirals. Those are not LEDs. Oh, this is what I want you to talk <laughs> about. What are those called? Those are, I mean, we're just using up what we have. Those are CFLs. They're fluorescent. <laughs> okay, never but. mind then. But we do have some LEDs. What? You talk you about them. I don't know anything about bulbs. <laughs> I just put them in there. Whatever's back there, I put oh, them in when there's something. So, yeah. so we do save some money on the on the light bulbs we use, except for the girls' bathroom. But change those out too because they kept leaving the light on. <laughs> but yeah, we when we buy light bulbs, we or at least I look for um, a low wattage light bulb whether it's fluorescent or LED, you know, so that it doesn't use much power because lights get left on all the time around here. That's hard. That's a hard one, isn't it? Lights being left on. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I do it too. You do it too. I know. I know it's hard. He gives the kids a hard time, but he does it too. So, yeah. <laughs> so instead of like hounding the kids I just try to buy LEDs <laughs> <laughs> knowing that they're going to be on all day sometimes right so. um, and I am not super consistent about it but when we have nice days like today um, it's pretty easy for me to hang our clothes out to dry instead of using our dryer and I don't know what kind of energy that saves, but I'm sure it saves some. Mm -hmm. um, and especially if I would do it all the time, I'm sure it would save even more. Yeah. But sometimes the weather's not really good or, I mean, we do it when we have time, like the days that we have time to do laundry, that's when we do it. And anyways, so can't yeah. really plan for that, but anyway. It would probably save 20 to $30 a month if you didn't use it at all, I would imagine. Something like that. All right, you wanna go around to the okay. wash stove? Look, there's the towels now. Okay. So another thing that we have that was a pretty significant investment is this water stove. It is a firebox, like a regular fireplace that uh, takes you know, whatever I can pick up will fit in there, but it has like 700 gallons of water around it. 
so it heats up that 700 gallons and it keeps that at like 190 degrees I believe is what it is and um, so in the winter time there's a, a pipe inside of that that circulates to the house and that's how we heat the house it radiates that heat off that water and then circulates back to the heater and gets heated again and it also heats up our water for our showers and stuff so that saves a lot the water heater and the heating cost is all right here it is a lot of work you know i spent a lot of time this winter cutting firewood i mean i had several trees that i wanted to cut down so it worked out but um, it is a lot of work um, in the winter time i have to come put wood in it every single day in the summer but in the summertime like today uh, maybe once a week I'll fill it up just to keep our water hot. So yeah, I like it. I like having it. It's nice having unlimited hot water. I remember when I was growing up and I always had cold showers because the girls, my sisters, <laughs> used up all the hot water. So I like having it. It's nice. But it was it was a, an investment. I mean, it cost it a lot initially, but it will... Uh, it will more than pay for itself for sure. But the hot water and the heating cost savings that we've experienced. And this is Travis's favorite thing to do. Throw stuff in the heater. While we got it open. So if you're new to our channel and you haven't subscribed, we would so appreciate you uh, subscribing and tapping the bell so that you're notified when we post a new video. And thank you for just following along with us. I hope you've received some sort of encouragement or inspiration or just entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but hit the like button if you don't mind and share us with your friends if you think they would like to watch our journey also. So. Yep. Have Thanks. A good day.